Welcome to Automation Tutorials. This video is next part of my previous video which was logic gates. So we will discuss about the next logic gates using TIA portal version 16. So let's do it. So let's discuss about our first gate that is NOR gate. So in NOR gate we have two inputs and one output. We also call NOR gate as universal gate. And here is the formula of NOR gate which is y equals to a plus b whole bar. And we can also write it y equals a bar dot b bar. So here is the truth table of the NOR gate. If both inputs are 0, output will be 1. If a is 0 and b equals 1, output will be 0. If a is 1, b is 0, output will be 0. And if both inputs are 1 or we can say on output will be off so as you can say it is just the complement of or gate you see the truth table of the or gate and you complement it 1 in place of 0 and 0 in place of 1 you will get the truth table of nor gate so there is another universal gate which is called NAND gate so here is the diagram of NAND gate it is also the complement of AND gate. Okay, NOR gate is complement of OR gate and NAND gate is complement of AND gate. So here is the formula y equals a dot b whole bar. We can also write it y equals a bar plus b bar. Fine. So here is the truth table of the NAND gate which is shown as the complement of the AND gate. So uh, let's make these logics. Uh, in TIA portal version 16. To make the logic we should know some basic things which is uh, if we have to make logic in multiplication like a dot b which is AND gate we have to add the logic in the series and if we have to make some logic like this a plus b which is like OR gate we have to add the logic in the parallel. So this was shown in my previous video if we did not watch it Till now, I'm adding the link in the description of this video. So, and the last thing is, uh, for complement of the logic, we will add NC button. So, uh, let's make the logic for NOR gate. So, uh, we will add an NC button for input number A and uh, another NC button in the series for input number B and the output coil okay so like we discussed uh, the formula of NOR gate is A plus B whole complement or A bar dot B bar so this is how we make the logic so let's download it click on load okay Turn the monitoring on here. So right now both inputs are off, output is on here. I will turn input A on, output will be off here. And if I turn A off and B on, output is again off. And if I turn my both inputs on, output will be off. So this shows the complement of OR gate. So let's go offline and uh, make the logic for NAND gate. In the NAND gate, we will add uh, the switches in parallel condition. So like the formula it is a bar plus b bar so we will add the logic in the parallel which will be of nc types so this is how the logic for NAND gate looks like so we will download the logic into the PLC
uh, let's uh, start the monitoring so my both inputs are off here output is on so if I turn a input on output will be on because the NC of B is transmitting the signal and uh, if I turn A off and B on output will be on again and if I turn my both inputs on output is off so this shows the complement of AND gate so uh, let's go offline so let's discuss our next gate which is XOR gate this is the diagram of XOR gate which has two inputs and one output so here is the formula which is a plus b dot a bar plus b bar and if we want to solve it we can also write it y equals a dot b bar plus a bar dot b and uh, if we see the truth table of the uh, XOR gate if uh, both inputs are 0 output will be 0 if any input is 1 output will be 1 and if uh, both inputs are 1 output will be 0 we have another logic gate which is XNOR gate so diagram of the XNOR gate looks like this and uh, if we write the formula it is y equals a dot b plus a bar dot b bar and if we can if we solve this using the values of a and b we can write the truth table if both inputs are 0 output will be 1 and if any input is 1 output will be 0 and if both inputs are 1 output will be 1 so here we can see that XNOR gate is the complement of XOR gate so now we will make logic of XOR and XNOR gates uh, in TIA portal so we will follow the formula of the XOR gate so first is A we will add an NO button for A and in the series we will add NC button for B which shows A dot B bar so I am adding the coil like this here which is like out so next is uh, the logic in the parallel which is a bar dot b so I am adding nc for a and uh, no for b so let's connect uh, these two parallel lines so we will download the logic into the PLC so this is how we make logic for XOR gate So let's turn on the monitoring. So my both inputs are off here, output is off. So let's turn A on, output is on here. And uh, if we turn A off and B on, output is again on. And if I turn my both inputs on, output is off so this is how you can understand the logic and make different types of logics in the PLC let's make logic for XNOR gate so for that I have to add two inputs in the parallel which is a dot B so I will turn NC into NO and uh, the next B is NO we will turn it to NC like this so this is how the logic of XNOR gate looks like. So let's type the name of the gate in the network and download the logic into the PLC. So when both inputs are off, output is on because both NCs are transmitting the signal if I turn A on output will be off 
and if I turn A off and B on, output will be off. And if I turn my both inputs on, my output will be on. So and this is how the XNOR gate works. So I will upload more videos like this to my channel. Uh, to see them, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icons for more videos. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next videos.